Good morning, guys. We're going to try and do another little day in the life video for the page this time. It might make it to the YouTube if it's long enough, but probably won't. We like doing things just specifically for you guys because as lengthy as and intricate as the YouTube videos are, they don't tend to get all the views that the Facebook page gets. And our following was built on the Facebook page, so that only seems right to give you guys the best content, really. So... So we're starting the day normally how most days go having to walk to the shop and put electric on because the electric's beeping downstairs now sure you know i mean we've got like 80 90 tanks here at the minute it's a, it's a lot going on so we're using a lot of electric easily 10 to 15 pound a day you can over if you can hear over the boiler the electric machine's beeping downstairs unfortunately the landlord won't let us switch over so we have to keep going to the shop every time. But yeah, I'm going to walk to the shop, get that done so we can turn the animals on. It's about half past eight. And then, um, so they're only about half an hour late. Normally come on at eight o'clock every day. And yeah, we're going to go get electric, some salad and stuff for everyone. I think the dog needs some food as well. Would that be nice for you, dog? Would you need some food? I think he's searching for his ball. He's a bit ridiculous. But yeah, we're gonna go to the shop, get things going. So that's it. Oh, the electric's back on. We're home. We've got yeah. breakfast for the dog. He knows, as you can hear him. So let's get today started. Hello, yeah, buddy. Everyone's beeping again. That's the dog eating. We gotta come and get these vivs. Now yesterday we had another foster home to hand back their animals. No through no fault of their own. Literally they're getting married, so congratulations Mark and Stacey. We're happy to have your animals back. We've missed them and it'll be easier to get them rehomes this way. So let's get everyone turned on. So that's Rocky turned on. We've got Cinder turned on. And we've got Isla down here. Now it is this water bowl's been soaking overnight. So we need to go and get that out. Had a lot of lime scale on. Look what the bosk has done to his water overnight. Ridiculous. And as always, every single day we've got to change Rocky's water because as a painted wood turtle, she loves her water. And she loves digging. So the two just don't go hand in hand, unfortunately. And then we come into the front room. We reach down and we turn on Rory. Now Rory's tank had a little bit of an update yesterday, he had some new wood put in, you can see his duckweed's doing really well, he's got this fake pothosy looking plant, but then at the back here, which has fallen down, we've got a real pothos, which is growing quite well, as you can see he's got a new root, and then somewhere in here, here he is, look, around this way. Oh, you can't see him, but you can see his tail. Oh my gosh, the reflections are awful. Then we move on to Crunch. And we turn Crunch's UVB on. There's old Crunch. And then the absolute bane of my life are these thermostats, <laughs> which just constantly peep. So we've got Nikki, the yellow anaconda's tank. We pulled her water over this morning just so she could eat. And we've got the big bow of tanks, which the UV's working really well in, surprisingly. No one's pulled anything off. And you can see Holly down there sleeping. And Bo has been down here for the last couple of days. There he is. Our bow's about 10 feet. <coughs> you can see one of his sheds here. Stretches right along his bivouac. There's probably about three or four of his sheds here, actually. Waiting to be given away in a competition. So this is bow. And then we've got a water change to do on our Georgina down there today. Wherever she is. Over there somewhere. There she is. Now, it's not too bad. You can see the water quality is really good. But there's just some bits that the filter aren't picking up from a... 
mouse that she ate the other day. And if you guys see algae growing on our tanks, tubs, uh, decor in the turtle tanks, algae is your friend, guys. Okay, it takes uh, nitrates from the water, and it's a whole lot more natural. Sometimes it can grow quite quite large and the snappers and smaller turtles do graze on it so we leave our algae and we've got a little map turtle this little guy's looking for a home he's really friendly he eats well he's a typical little male map turtle we've got aquariums ready to go for him and then we turn on Sherlock and Aquarius not sure where they're gonna be at somewhere and we got old Aquarius sleeping. Now Aquarius came in, came in to us and his name was King Tut. We actually had a message from the elderly couple that he came from uh, yesterday. Just checking up on him. So if you guys get to see the page, I know you haven't got Facebook or email, but if you do ever get to see the page, this is your boy King Tut. New name Aquarius. So with Myrtle's tank, we need to today change out the filters. Of course, this is from when uh, Maximus was in here. It's not too bad, really. It's pretty clean. That's just all the sludge that comes up from the bottom. But we're going to strip down the filter today. Yesterday, the whole tank got stripped. Had new sad, new strub straight, new plants that came from the tank that Myrtle got moved into. But now Maximus is out the back. Now Myrtle's back in a new big tank. We've just got to get a uh, pump sorted. Uh, UVB because this is just not adequate for such a high tank. This has just literally been sat on there to keep it off the floor and away from the dog. Myrtle has a 12% UVB strip which hangs across her tank. We put her um, a big crate in there so she can get up and bask and she has MVB to do that. So that's the front of the house on. Oh my god look at this bed here. My gosh. <laughs> what can do eh? Um, yeah so we're just gonna go and Turn the back of the house on now, and then we will crack on with getting everyone's. We sorted out everyone's feed earlier. Um, what else have we got to do? Yeah, we've got to get everyone's feed bowls in. Snake feed needs all the mice need defrosting, and and oh yeah, finishing water changes on the turtles like Georgina and. Then we're off to deal to check out some traps that we laid for some terrapins. And yeah, we're gonna go from there. So that's these guys on. Got our zoo see. Then we've got three. We've got the girls' tank. Everyone's happy this morning. We're going to get some worms in with everyone. And we're coming over here. Actually, no, we're not going to go and stop this thermostat from beeping. It always ruins my videos. Then we're going to come across. It's like a, a maze in my house at the minute with all these fosters. And now everyone's on. Food bowls have been put in for the beauties. Worms have been put in for the Leos, forgot to f film that. It's hard to do when you're by yourself. But now we're at Watson. Now every day, Watson ha um, gets a Tamadine soak every single day. Or we call it a soak. It's more of just a sponge on and sponge off. Tamadine is basically ready to go um, betadine. Can't go wrong with it really. It's already diluted to use. We just start, we just pop it into this tub with a sponge and we sponge it onto him. Now if people don't know, we have quite an extensive um, first aid kit here. This is my new bag, which I'm just about to start using. It's got a hard base so things can be stored and we've moved a few bits over. Just some syringes, we've got some Batril, We've got some Loxicom, and we've got some Metacam in the bathroom. Um, yeah, that's in there from the other day. Yeah, that's about it that we've got in here at the minute. We've not moved a lot over, but we will be. This is my new bag. It's very cold. Lots and lots of pockets. You'll see me every time I come for a rehome, you'll have this. 
and it'll be fully kitted out once we transfer everything over from the other main first aid kit but right now we're gonna take this tub I'm gonna take the lid off of the tamadine and whilst it's in the tub splodge it down onto the sponge And then the sponge just gets wiped on the bottom of his shell. Watson's been tamadined. I'm going to get on with spraying everyone. Now you've seen this in multiple videos, so I don't need to go around with spraying everyone. This is Amy's second spray for today because we normally do our first thing. Oh, sorry, don't like to see you up there, but that's it. <coughs> sorry. Oh, she's scrambling now, trying to get away from it. Oh, here she is. No drink, done him. No, she don't. <laughs> but for those wondering why Amy's covered up like this, this bottom bit, as you can see the dog's claws, he likes to jump up when he hears her. So if you don't have this up, then he can actually hold himself up on the mesh and he could obviously reach her through down there. So this was to protect her from the dog. This is because she can actually fit through these holes. So we, <laughs> until we get some smaller mesh, we've had to um, make shift a little cover and she lives in the dark, bless her. Poor girl, she's all right though. As I was saying, I'm not gonna film me spraying everyone, but everyone is gonna get sprayed. All of the bowers, all of the snakes, the boss, the beardies, the Leos, because for some reason, on the internet, people are scared of spraying their Leos. Guys, they don't live in the desert. Don't just get that round in your head. Leopard geckos do not just live in the desert, right? De and what even is a desert? Desert, it's just sand. If you ask me, that's like Sahara Desert. I mean, when there's just sand and you get the odd tarantula and scorpion or, albeit the actual, there is a chameleon species that lives in the desert, so you have to take that into account. But yeah, I like to spray our Leos like once, twice a week if we can, especially in their moist hides in the moist area. They have peaks of humidity in the wild, of course, up to 100%. Do you know what I mean? It rains. When it rains, you have 100% precipitation. Um, so, is that the right even word? Oh gosh, it's not even 9 o'clock yet, and I'm using big words like that. But yeah, so everyone's going to get sprayed. We're going to crack on. Um, People have been fed. Yeah, it's a bit of a random random vlog this one, but we'll get things done. Better shot of our Rory this morning. If I can get my camera to focus with all this glare that we have. And the problem with having tanks on every edge of the room is you get glare on every other tank. That opposes it. God, I look like I'm filming on a potato, not a P20 Pro. What's going on? Our oh, gorgeous girl Holly this morning. Holly is a sun glow baba, albino sun glow. She's gorgeous. Probably coming into shed and it's going to be her, only her second shed with us. Okay, I'm just going to get some salad leaves chucked in there for today. And she wakes herself up. What is luck? Oh, Freddy. Come on, out of the way, bubs. We've got Isla waiting for her food. That's a good boy. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Yeah, oh, that's a good girl. Nom nom nom. What about this big bit? What about this big bit? That big, big. Oh, oh she got my finger. That's a good girl. Don't get it on the sand. <laughs> I might have to put a tile under your bowl. We do that for some of our other beardies, to be honest, so... I'm not sure why I don't just do it for all of them. Maybe we'll make it a rule from now on. Do you think that's a good idea? Look at this little fat belly! Look at your fat belly! Come on, you. There's worms coming later. 
Come on, you. Nom, 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 nom. Where are you going? So that's it guys, thank you for joining me on this short little view of my morning here at NKM. We've turned everyone on, we've fed the dog, we've put electric on, we've done waters, we've fed a few people. But if I film everything now, oh, where are we going? If I film everything now then we're not going to have anything left for the Saturday weekly vlog. So I'm going to leave you here, be, this video is probably going to be about 20 minutes long by the time we've edited it. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your day guys uh, remember to join us on the page for all our all new schedule we've got ask me Mondays and um, Wednesday night lives 
We've got Thursday night tour in the sanctuary. Um, Saturday vlogs and Friday fill your face Friday where you can see our animals scoffing down their food every day. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the videos, on the posts. Don't forget to share the page with your friends, the community tab, leaving us a review. All the support we can get is really, really helpful, guys. So, thanks. So, right, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. And from me and the team at NKM, which you will be meeting shortly, see you soon.